Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. My name is Mike E. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about why you should not be scared of being judged at the gym. This video is intended for beginners or people who have seen videos such as the ones on Joey Swoles, where they'll see people that are recording others and making fun of them at the gym. In case you were fearing of that or just being judged at the gym in general, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you should not be scared of it. I understand going to the gym might be a bit of a frightening experience at your first time. You're new to it. It's like doing a new sport or going to a new school almost. There's gonna be that little bit of nervousness. That is perfectly natural. I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't be scared of being judged at the gym and why you should just focus on yourself, be respectful of everyone in there and just focus on working hard yourself and not really focusing on whether what other people are really thinking about you. Let's just get right into it. First of all, we're just gonna start with the fact that the gym community is one of the most uplifting communities you'll ever see. So if you see on social media, you'll see people who post their bench PRs, they post certain, just any gym related activity stuff. And as long as they're not making fun of others in that video or doing any negative things in that video, typically you'll see most of the comments are gonna be people who are uplifting saying, hey, nice job, I really like this, or whatever. It's gonna be some positive comments. Sure, you're gonna find maybe one or two negative comments, but you'll find them basically anywhere on any type of content. That's my fucking location. Well, the gym community itself is very supportive, very uplifting. It's very easy to find some really nice interactions in the gym social media. And in terms of the actual physical gym itself, when you're going in there, there's some of the most friendly people in there. Honestly, I made so many friends and it's so easy to just go in there and be like, hey, what's up, how, what are you hitting? Stuff like that. Just like a simple conversation can turn into you and making a new friend like that just as easily. The kind of people in there that care more about improving themselves, they don't really care about what other people are doing. Just keep to themselves, focus on working hard, and the last thing on their mind is what you're doing. Now, of course, there's a counter argument to this. There's definitely people who aren't the nicest of people in the gym. There might be some people who are a bit of a jerk. See you, chump. That's something you're gonna find anywhere you go. There's always bound to be just negative people almost everywhere you go, unfortunately. That's just the case nowadays. However, you don't need to worry about those people. Not everybody's gonna be the most kind of person, but 99% of the people in the gym are kind people. Have I had negative gym interactions? Sure, but they've never really been much of a deal breaker. I think the worst one I had recently was I was going to use a lap pull down machine after someone else was using it. I'd asked if it was all good and they said, yeah, sure. And I was about to go on it. Then someone comes up to me and goes, uh-uh. And I turn around and there's a guy who's been supersetting uh, with a different machine. He just goes, I was waiting for that already, which I was too, but I just let it be. I was like, okay, and I walked away. And really, it's not that major of an, uh, of an issue. There's not going to be much negative gym interactions. I have a lot of positive ones. Every like one negative, there's going to be probably a thousand positive gym interactions. As long as you're respectful of others in there and you're just friendly and you're focusing on yourself, trying to work hard, it's going to be like that. Your one negative interaction is going to turn into probably a thousand positive ones. I've made multiple friendly acquaintances at the gym now. Well, I'll go up to them and be like, hey, what's going on? Have a nice little conversation. It just makes the gym a little bit more enjoyable. And never have they judged me for anything. I'm sure there's been times when I first started out, and maybe even now, where my form has probably been questionable, or I've been doing just exercises that probably aren't that useful, or just whatever, or the fact that, like, really, I'm not the most fit person in the gym, obviously. I'm not one of the biggest people there. No one has ever judged me in the gym for that reason or for my form. But 99.9% .9 chance the same is going to be for you. No one's going to judge you about it. In fact, there are probably going to be people who might want to help you. So if they see you doing some form that's a little bit questionable, they might go up to you and say, hey, I see you're doing this. If I may, can I suggest blank? Or I see you're doing blank. Can I tell you about blank? Another counter argument I know you're going to say is, well, what about those videos where it's people recording present the gym? The chances of that happening to you are very rare. Even if it does, you already know people are going to have your back. But you and your friend would rather take a video to make fun of this man, mock him, then post it on social media for attention. I can't believe that you don't know better than to treat people this way in the gym. You are an absolute bully. You need to do better. Mind your own business. You're going to be, hey, this person's just trying to work out or all of that. Don't be recording other people at the gym. Mind your own business. Even if it did happen to you, people have your back. The gym community is mostly uplifting. 99.9% .9 of people are. If you ever think you're going to get judged as well for not having the same strength, if you go in there thinking, I can only bench the bar or something like that, or I can bench less than the bar, don't be ashamed of that because every single person started somewhere lower than where they are. You're not going to start by benching 415 on your first day. You're going to start in a beginner's place and everyone has to go through that. I'm 
just trying to say everyone starts somewhere. You're gonna work yourself up there. You're gonna get better at it. Compare yourself only to yourself. So I'm not gonna be wanting to go in there and thinking, oh man, this guy can already bench to like 225. I'm stuck at 190, which is actually what I am right now. I'm instead gonna think back, wow, I'm already benching 190 right now. Back then I could only bench maybe 85 pounds, even less. We all start somewhere and only compare yourself to yourself. I've talked about this in many past videos. But I think it's a very important thing to remember is only compare yourself to yourself and, and only compete against yourself. I know I might not be exactly the most muscular person right now, but I must I used to be much more skinny and scrawny when I entered the gym. And even then, no one ever judged me at any point. Don't let the fear of being judged at the gym keep you from going to the gym. With that being said, I don't think there's any more excuses to not go right now. Make sure you go in there, make yourself proud, and just put in some hard work. Don't worry about what other people are thinking, because they're probably not thinking about you. Have a great day everyone, through the storm, and be mighty everyone.